Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Crafting with May and Hannah, and today we have a DIY for you. As you can already guess, that we're going to be doing something with bottles because we have our bottles here. We're going to just customize them using some glitter, maybe some rhinestones, or whatever our creative minds put together. So I hope you guys have had a wonderful week. I know we were supposed to upload on Friday, but our lives was just a little bit busy and we didn't get around to it, but we're here today and we're glad to be here with you guys. So um, to get started, baby, you want to tell, talk to the people, say anything to them? Uh, yeah, this will be my first time uh, doing this DIY. DIY. Y'all know he'll crack the wiki <laughs> now, y'all just bear with him. So I'm going to try to be as crafty as I can. Okay, all you got to do is just express yourself within your craft, you know. It's very easy. Um, there's no right or wrong way to do the DIY. You just let your creative inspirations flow. So I have my one of my favorite wines, um, the Stella Rosa. I'm going to decorate this one. And, and he I have has his the, bottle. Uh, well, I think this is a uh, Tangeray uh, Sterling Vodka. I used to like this, but not no more. So I'm gonna try to get crafty. You don't drink this. anymore. And um, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. So to get started with today's DIY, you're gonna need whatever you want to use to customize your bottles. So today we're going to be using some extra fine glitters of different kinds of colors. Um, usually you wanna use something that complements your bottle. Um, the coloring in your bottles is what you usually wanna do. So you're gonna use extra fine um, glitter. You'll also need some Mod Podge to seal the glitter. Now, when you're using the Mod Podge, it doesn't matter what kind of Mod Podge, Mod Podge you use because there are different ones. You have uh, Mod Podge Matte, you have Mod Podge Glossy, Extra Glossy, you have Dishwasher uh, Grade Mod Podge, all different labels, but Mod Podge is Mod Podge in this aspect of this type of DIY. So, we got our Mod Podge. We got our glitters. You also need a base paint um, only so that you don't have to use as much glitter. So you want to get a paint that also complements your bottle as well. We have some sponge brushes here. You can use um, your regular paint brushes if you want to, or you can use the little block sponges. It's totally up to you guys. So with all that being said, let's get started crafting. I think first what I'm going to do is put some gloves on to protect my hands because you ladies and gentlemen who work um, in the crafting world know that glitter is so beautiful but can be the devil because when it falls out, it falls out every and anything and you will be finding glitter for days in your house. <laughs> so that's why we have lined the table down, um, the craft table down with some butcher paper and uh, got some gloves, like I said, to try to help protect um, some of the glue to fall out. And for the men, make sure you get you some extra large gloves. <laughs> yeah. These are kind of a little tight. Well, you know, I really didn't, these are gloves I just had around the house. It's, I didn't really buy them for the project or anything. So next time we'll make sure that we get him some gloves that'll fit his hands. <laughs> But in the meantime, he's gonna have to work with those or work without them. No, work with them. Okay, so here, you guys, we have had probably two lovely days of beautiful weather. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we've been so busy, we haven't really been able to get outside to enjoy it. But um, I don't know what the weather's like in your area, but. I'm really enjoying the weather outside with, when I'm walking through because I'm not really able to be out there and do a lot of things right now. So I'm gonna get started with just painting my bottle. And uh, what I wanna do is, you know how you have the label on the front of your bottle? I'm going to leave my label there and I'm not gonna paint over it now. It's up to you if you wanna paint over it and just make your bottle just a decorative bottle of just random um, designs, which is totally fine if you could do that as well. But if you're gonna do that, I will go ahead and peel off the label so you don't have to worry about all that. But I want to keep this front label. Now I could have peeled off this back label. However, I did not. That's fine, I'm just gonna paint over it, it's no reason. And I'm, I'm gonna save this label part right here because it's got the black and the gold with the little, um, um, star specs on it and I like that 
So I'm going to say some some portions of the bottle um, label, but the rest of it, if you're not going to say, just go ahead and soak it in some soapy water and discard of it. And I think I'm going to save the front part of my label as well and just paint the back. And so we're painting with acrylic paint, nothing special. Um, you can get acrylic paint from mostly any craft store. And the reason why you want to do a base paint on your bottle is just so that when you're glittering the, uh, applying glitter to your bottle, you don't have to do as much and then there won't be so many um, spots for see-through where you can actually see through the glitter or the bottle or something like that. Or the bling if you choose to use rhinestones instead. Now I've seen people do some beautiful bottles. Customizing bottles is very popular, has been for some years. Um, you may wonder what is the reason for this? And it's more so just for decoration, uh, for unique gift ideas. You know, some people get a bottle of their favorite beverage or drink um, customized like this, and then they give it to whoever the person is that's doing the celebrating or the, the special um, gift is for. And they can either um, partake in that bottle that day, but most people usually take them and collect them and like keep them as little keepsakes. Um, you know, kind of like you do a good bottle of wine or something like that, and you save it for a certain, another special occasion on top of that or something. So what I'm gonna do with mine, or what I plan on doing with mine is, um, decorating it and sitting it on my little wine bar. So I'll be using mine for decorative um, portion, I mean, decorative reasons. I've already emptied this baby, there's nothing in it, <laughs> but I have some more, but, um, so this is gonna go for decoration on my wine, mine, on my wine cart. Mine will be just for practice. I mean, you could probably, I mean, you know. Depends you on how it <laughs> turn out, I might put it out in my, Remember, you were supposed to use your blue. Oh. It's okay, though, but you were, remember, you wanted to use blue. Oh, man. Can I go back over the blue? No, it's okay. It'll be all right. Oh. It'll be all right. Yeah. It's still a dark color, so it should still be all right. Yeah. Um, I should have probably went with the blue, because I still see, like, the glass joint. That's only because it's one coat. Okay. So, you don't have to worry about it getting it um, a solid color with the paint. Because you're gonna glitter it a couple of coats with the glitter. It's just like I said, so you don't have to use as much glitter. Look at that, I got a lot on my hands. My hands can use. I got all of my fingerprints and stuff I just glitter. I mean, paint. you have to be mindful of where you hold in your hands when you're painting. Have some. Mm hmm. I have my hands all in the paint. Records. Doing something like this with some nice music, nice little bottle of wine on a nice little day, or, or somewhere where you could just be quiet. And um, y'all know, I think crafting itself is therapeutic when you're doing it for yourself. Now, when you're doing it for uh, um, business ventures and it start piling up, it becomes work and it's not as fun. So I love to, um, <clears throat> to get opportunities like this when I'm able to just do a little random craft for myself and actually enjoy it. But lately with my crafting business, um, my custom gift business, I have not been able to do a lot of self-crafting where I can just kind of enjoy my crafts. So this is nice. So, I don't know if you guys can see, but you see how it's turning black. I'm not so supposed to have painted mine in blue, but I wasn't following directions. There was no directions. <laughs> you just said that you wanted yours blue when we was off camera. And, and then all of a sudden it started off forgot. black. I yeah. think because you're trying to do exactly what I'm doing, and you, you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. You do what you want to do. Yeah. So, that's probably why you picked up the wrong color. You're right. I was paying attention to you. I should. Yeah, I had put your color over there if I see. Yeah. Did I, did I put one coat or? 
Um, I two suggest coats? you do it one coat, but just for time's sake. But you could do two coats if you want yeah, to. Yeah, because you gotta let it dry though, right? Yeah, but it should be about dry. It's acrylic paint. Acrylic paint dries rather quickly, about two seconds, five minutes, depending on oh, how dark it is. Let me take on the leaves. Wherever y'all guys at, do y'all have nice weather today? We ain't had nice weather in a minute, so seeing that sun out for the last two days is pretty cool. We've been dealing with cold weather. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, like people in Florida, and they've been getting that snow, which is unusual, yeah, I believe, for them a, down yeah, here. That's, that's something different. But... Personally, I'm waiting for the, uh, can't wait, excuse me, can't wait for the um, spring and summer to get here. And then, of course, when spring and summer get here and those temperatures start shooting up sky Man, high, we'll be ready. Again. We'll be ready for the fall or <laughs> something, you know. I, I'm never ready for winter. I like winter. I'm never ready for winter. I'm, I could do all the seasons except for winter. I don't do well in the cold. So, I think I'm satisfied with so far I'm gonna go ahead and um get ready to switch out to do my Mod Podge now coat it with Mod Podge me just a few seconds to dry some of the streaks to dry which it's about dry already so you see how you get in some of it just yeah. right there you might want to clean it up before it dry that way it doesn't mess up well, I'm cleaning it with on the corner of a wet paper towel is fine just get a little bit of it off the silver right. oh look see you can do it like that Gloves. I mean, it worked for me. Come right on off. That way, your silver stays silver. All right. Okay, so now I'm just going to uh, now cover the black like I did. <clears throat> I'm gonna do a mod podge, but I'm gonna cover. I'm not gonna do the whole thing at once. I'm gonna do it. It's better if you do it in sections. It tends to work a lot better that way. to start at this bottom. And once you get your Mod Podge on where you want it, you then want to follow up, um, like I said, do the Mod Podge in sections. But once you get it where you want it, you want to um, then take and add your your glitter. So I got Mod Podge this whole side and add glitter? You want to do it in sections, so I don't know if you should do the whole side at once. Okay. So I'll start at the bottom or top, it don't matter. I think I want to do a um, black and gold mixture. So I'm going to mix my glitter. I should have did this before. So um, we can start wherever you want to start. Let me get something so I can mix this glitter together. That's right there. I have to wait on her to get something to get the glitter so we can mix the glitter. So we can apply the glitter on it. This stuff gets messy. Mm -hmm. Paper towels. Gotta keep some nearby. Like I said, it gets messy. Mm. So. so I got some paper so you can um, use to catch the glitter fallout. Because right. I forgot to bring some in here. Mm -mm. And I got something where I can mix my own colors. Now you don't have to mix your colors. You go ahead and glitter with your blue. Um, this is the blue that he will be using, which is a pretty blue. Nice. And remember, you guys, it's the extra fine glitter. Yeah, um, it up there, yeah, over. Do it over this. Paper stick. 
and I am going to mix gold. Well, what little bit of gold I have left here as well. And I want it to have more black than I did gold. And the reason why I'm doing it because this black actually have like some, um, I'm not sure if it's a silver or blue specks or something, but say it's just black. Um, black, it's on, onyx. That's actually the color of it. It's supposed to be like a black, but it's like mm -hmm. an onyx. But of course, since I have, uh, Played around. I have got to go back and glitter. I'm mean, not glitter, but my podge my bottle again because I'm sure it has dried. Um, while I was waiting. Mm -hmm. Podge that back. So now you just want to sprinkle your glitter. On top of that Mod Podge. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, that's gonna be so pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as you saw, I had grabbed that paper. You see, guys saw me come back with paper. The reason why I did it is so you can catch your glitter. You don't want to waste. You don't want to waste anything. So you can get a paper or something like that. We can catch it, fold it up like that, put it back in your container, and then do it again. Okay, we need to repeat the process. The bags. Anybody ready for the summer like we are, the spring, ready to get out and, and, and feel like, at least feel like you're a little bit free. I know we're in the middle still of a pandemic and everything, and the things are not still like it should be, but at the same time, I think when the sun uh, starts shining and the weather gets a lot nicer and warmer, at least we will be able to get back outside and do um, more activities like going on the walks and bike riding and stuff like that. Um, you know, going for long walks and stuff like that would help kind of make us mentally feel a little bit better for those who've been shut in all the time. Haven't really been doing anything like us, you know, other than going to work. Because, you know, sometimes cabin fever which is what they call when you're stuck in the house and you're not really getting out. It's a real thing, and it can weigh heavy on a person. Like the kids, for instance, with schools being shut and everything, and I, I totally agree with them being shut right now while um, it's a pandemic. And I do know that their education and everything is important, but at the same time, so are their lives. And... Um, until it gets safe enough, I do believe they should stay home. But staying home is having somewhat of an impact on them, not being able to socialize with their peers, uh, per se. But luckily, we have more than one child, and their age um, gaps between them isn't too big. So, um, although they don't, they're not able to socialize with their peers, they still have each other that... Um, they can still, you know, 
do activities with and talk to and stuff like that. So they have to rely heavily on each other right now. Because we don't let them out to um, play in the neighborhood and they don't go to the schoolhouse and they don't stay in the house and play games all day. Um, like I know a lot of teachers and people are probably thinking that most kids do. I'm sure all kids aren't doing that. I know our kids aren't doing that because we don't allow them to play the games Monday to Friday on school nights, which they are virtu um, virtually um, schooled for now, but they are actually going to... Oh, that is so pretty. Mm -hmm. Let me see my work. You got to that blue, That blue is nice. I think you might be getting it on the floor. You're a little okay. close to the edge. Okay, my bad. I don't want that on the floor. I'm slamming up, y'all. Um... But I was saying, can I get that? Okay, I got it. I was saying how shake it like a soul shake. They're gonna be homeschooled because um, the virtual situation with education that they're getting at the schools that they're attending is not working out. Um, it just ain't working out. <laughs> I've given it a trial several times, and. It ain't working out for them. And it's not really, the, it's not only them <clears throat> that's to blame. There is some blame to be put on the teachers that they have at the moment. Um, some of them, not all of them, are not being adequate with their teaching um, methods. And it's just, it's just becoming a hassle. So I think for our family, the best thing is for us to do is to pull them out and for me to focus on homeschooling them, for us to make sure that they're getting the best education that they can get right now. Make sure they're retaining everything. Cause they don't, I also think they don't do good um, with just watching somebody on the camera teach them. They don't seem to be that interested in okay. what's going on there, you know. Sometimes kids need hands-on learning. And it's hard to do that on the camera out here. I don't know if you can see that. I know it's looking like silver on the camera for some reason. But that blue that man got going on right here, it is something pretty. Yeah, I'll go with the blue. I ain't finished yet, but there you go. <sighs> like I said, y'all, this process, this process is a long, tedious process. We'll probably have the camera sped up for you guys. I thought we had just sitting here watching us the whole time, just sitting here doing this. I don't know how it's going to end up being. Then you may, you know, because you can also always just fast forward to the parts that you don't want to see. So we'll see. We're going to play it by ear. I know some people out there like those long videos. Some people like the short videos. want you to speed through everything. You got some that want to see it all, don't want to miss a beat. You know, you can't please everybody, but we try to... Um, we try to, so we'll probably do a little combination of those kind of videos where they're short, where they're long, where they're very detailed when they're not. Like now, it's not really detailed. Um, so we'll see how all of that goes. This is a great um, craft for uh, not only a couple's night, but like uh, when you're getting with your girlfriends and stuff like that. Can you know how to have like paint nights? Have craft nights. And this would be a good craft for something like that. Those are very popular too going on right now. Because you know, there's no entertainment going on outside. So you have to kind of create your own entertainment now. Although you know you can't have but so many people around you. Make sure that you kind of know the... Um, health status of the people that you're crafting with. We want to still try to contain this pandemic down as much, keep it down as much as we can, for sure. Cause I'm ready for it to be gone. But I, 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 unfortunately, I think this is 
something that is going to be here with us like the flu for a long time or for forever. What you think? It'll probably be for a little while. You think it's just going to be for a little while? No, it's going to be around because a lot of people don't want to take the vaccine because they're not. You still got to run tests and trials and errors and that. You still got a lot of people getting side effects from doing that. So a lot of people are still hesitant of taking that. So it's like everything else is going to, you got to run your tests until you get every, I mean, it's not going to be 100%, but it'll be probably when it gets down to a better percentage of people not having so many different side effects. Well. So now it's like a waiting game. Yeah. Waiting to see what's next, what's gonna happen next. So all you can basically do is be patient, be patient and Pray, I hope for the best. Hope everything turns out like it's supposed to. And try to keep yourself and your family safe and whoever else you be around, try to consider their safety as well. Let that dry and you have to do another coat. You want to do about two or three coats of this glitter. We probably won't do two or three coats on this camera, but we're going to... Um, show you the end results at the end and so he can go ahead and get started on his third coat second coat if he chooses to let it dry, right? dry yeah it'll take about maybe um 15 minutes or so mm -hmm. and then you come back in with a second coat And you could just talk to the people while I'm still crafting. Uh, uh, you can see I got everything blue all the way around. And as she says, now I'm waiting on to apply the second coat. I try to not cover the letters in the front of my bottle. Try to outline it as best as I could. And I also let, left the wrapper on the top as silver too. So... You know, people buy these bottles brand new, haven't even been open. We, of course, we don't drink like that. Um, I drink wine occasionally, and he just recently, well, it's not that recent. It's been about, yeah, about a year. Probably like a year. I year now, just recently drinking. stopped drinking. But even then, we didn't drink a lot. Um, it's more so a social thing. Um, drink a little, a little glass or two on the weekend. But um, people actually get these bottles brand new and decorate them as Keep them, to keep them for decorative reasons or give them as a gift. But our bottles, well, my bottle is empty and his has got what's left like over from corner, a long time ago. Like a corner. Huh? So. But the thing is, it's just being able to do the craft. Yeah. We wanted to Sorry. not let y'all guys down because we didn't post on Friday, so. We decided to go ahead and make time to do it today because we were so busy on Friday. There's going to be some days when we may miss a Friday. And it may not be every Friday that we, we craft. It may be every third Friday, every uh, other Friday. But we're going to try our best to post on Fridays. Although today is an exception. And there will be some days when there will be exceptions. When, like he was saying, um, when we have prior engagements or something um, like this weekend came up where we just wasn't able to. And I know you guys understand how that is, but we still wanted to bring you a craft for the week because we know some of you guys have been patiently waiting. And um, also, with that being said, I have not forgotten what I said um, the last video on um, um, crafting with Mandy Hannah, um, that we will be giving away a giveaway. So for the giveaway to, um, to participate in the giveaway, I'm going to leave... Um, some directions for you down in the description box on how to um, participate in that. And then the next time we come back, we probably will announce a winner. And um, I don't know, how, how you want to do it? Well, we come back next time we, we uh, announce a winner on the bottom. 
Miss, you want to do it that way? Yeah, we do it like that. Okay, so what you? Oh need no, to... we you know what? Uh, when we come back next time, instead of just we announce it on the video. Okay. Instead of doing the thing on the bottom, we'll just we'll, before we'll start, we just let them know who the winner was, and then we'll start into the video. Okay, so um, I will leave details on what you need to do to participate in the description box. And it's gonna probably be more something like following us on social media or something like that. Um, making sure for sure that you share this video um, on your social media or with someone because that definitely helps our channel grow and we really appreciate that, don't we? Yep. Every view helps every our view. channel grow. So every for all view, of y'all who are watching, we appreciate it. Yeah, we definitely uh, appreciate your support. Okay, so I think I am finally done with my first uh, coating. And so we're going to let this dry. And then we're going to do a second coat. And uh, after you, after your first coat dry, you want to go back in with my Podge. And again, the same way in sections, you want to re-glitter, um, re my Podge, re-glitter, let it dry. And then... Um, when you let it dry, seal it one last time with my Podge, let it dry, and that'll be it, okay? So we're gonna do that off camera, but we'll come back with you guys when we're ready to um, add some stones, okay? So stay right. tuned. Um, we have already glittered our bottles with um, two to three coats. And as you can see, that's how they turned out. And we're gonna add some bling to them. But I wanted to let you guys know, we did not, um, put our last coat Mod Podge, um, the paste. We didn't use the, um, we didn't use this bottle of Mod Podge. Instead, what we used was the spray because I had this as well. So this is the Mod Podge spray. We did, um, a coat of this to seal the glitter in and it worked, it worked pretty well. Actually, I thought that it was going to take away some of the bling. It, it did take to me slightly, just a tad bit, a little bit of the bling, but um, that's usually, usually what happens when we seal bling anyway. So now what we're going to do is just decorate the bottle. As you can see, we have some bling here, some bling strips, and um, we also have some rhinestones as well. But we're going to use the bling strips to um, decorate the bottles. I don't know if I'm going to use the rhinestones or not, but pretty much you do that. You can use E6000 to secure your bling strip. You can use hot glue. Today we're going to be using Gem Tech glue. So that is how we're going to secure the bling up here. Also, you guys, you can use my podge because this is also a glue as well. And you can use in that to uh, put your bling up here. I can't get that to come out. No. I can't get that to come out. I ain't stab it. Be careful. Alright. I mean, you could cut took the top off and go from the other side, but uh, if you choose to. Alright. Oh, I wanted to glue really stick it. Oh, this got to clean all that. Why you just use this? This okay. bottle, we can just share this bottle if you want to. But it's, it's clean in there. Yeah, I'm just, just clean it out. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want to measure the lens that I would like to have. Uh-oh, I'm stuck my hand together. Hmm? I'm stuck my hand together. Okay. I almost got it clean. So I just spray it on the spray across like this? Mm-hmm. Let me stop. Do I spray it? Yeah, that's what you need. You don't have to do it all. You could just put a little bit and spread it. 
or do a couple of um our dance was mm -hmm. it yes The only thing I don't really care about using bling wrap <sighs> is the extra little pieces of the um, yarn that sticks out from the side once you cut it. I hate that about bling wrap. But other than that, it's um, really nice to use. But if I was to be customizing it for someone, unless they specifically ask for bling wrap, like the actual wrap, then I probably would do it with the rhinestones or I would give them an option of choosing which is um, best for them. And I guess for all the fellas and also women out there who who like going to the gym now that the gyms most of the gyms are still closed are you still doing your exercise at home out outdoors um i know a lot of people like weights but you know since the pandemic a lot of people been switching up and going to the resistance bands pretty good of calisthenics push-ups uh pull-ups dips um whole lot of other stuff you can do without the weights and you still get a good workout going on. Trying to put that one strip there so far. Let me see what I got. Let me see. Guys, yeah, something coming back up. Be time for us to be out in the yard doing yard work, cutting grass. Another wife we want to plant flowers. No, I won't. I don't got time for it. Now I can hang some flowers and some hanging bags, but I'm not gonna plant none. Okay. All you do is just mow them down anyway. Yeah. Y'all, when I plant my flowers and make my garden beds, there's no point um, because all he do is when he cut grass, is mow them things right on down and I be upset. Not, so, no, not intentionally. Uh, not intentionally, but you always do it. So I'm not going to waste my time this year. Trying to get over with. Yeah. My flowers be over with too. Yeah. Best to go and get the kind you just hang up. That's what I do. But that's what I plan on doing. Out of your reach. Safe on the lawn more. You be out there pushing with a one track mind, you go, mm -hmm. Trying to get it over with. Y'all know how and it you, is. Hide out there too. And y'all yeah, believe you. you done. Yeah. But you just don't mm -hmm. you know, no have no mercy for my flowers. You don't be thinking about nothing else. Getting it done. Just cutting them down. So I'm not gonna Get out there and be digging up the yard this year. I'm ready to take some vacations. I'm so ready to just move, live a little, be a little bit more free. Like I miss traveling and going places. Cause we have really pretty much adhered to the rules here, and we haven't really been going outside this house much at all. It's been over a year now, as you all know, cause we're all in the same predicament. It is time to be free. Y'all know I'm a hot glue gun girl. And um, I wish I could just use that instead. So I like the immediate hold. You don't get an immediate hold with liquid. You have to wait for it to dry. 
And just for those who are not familiar with Gem Tech Glue, it does dry clear. It comes out white, but it dries clear. It works wonderful with gems. Uh, you know, people use E6000, but um, to use the E6000 on craft gems, like gems like these in this box, uh, is what I consider craft gems, that E6000 will eat that back and right off that um, gem, and it'll make it so dull, and you'll just be looking like, what in the world? So when you're using um, gems, make sure you know what you're using so you can use the proper glue with them because there's no point in putting blingy gems on items if you're going to use the wrong glue and it's just going to dull them. I mean, it's pointless to me. So just a little tip. Just a little tip. Okay, that's what I have so far. This is what I got. All right. So I'm just gonna add one last little strip around here, and I'm, I'm gonna call it a uh, um, done, one and done, honey. To my hands, they took a little tight gloves off. Take that single, I get a single. Well, but I think I want to do five. What you guys do you think it'll look better with this? With five on there instead of just a single, single well, I think it, it gives it more a pop or bang. So, what I'm going to do is do five instead. This is what I got so far. And here's my little design I put in the back, which is a J. You put a J in the back? Yeah. Y'all saw his skills. I try to get a little crafty with my, like I said, got my little J sitting in the back. Little, little diamonds around the top, diamonds on the bottom. My little diamond frame. Step away from me, so I'm trying to get my hands clean. Well, let me go ahead and end this video because this is all I'm going to do to it. Um, mm -hmm. So, pretty much, you guys, let me show you. How it turned out. That's hers, and once again, this is how mine turned out. 
And I got the J in the back. Diamonds around the top. All right, so this is like just a little um, DIY that you can do just on a weekend or any day. We just want to do a little craft. Um, but we're going to go ahead and end today's video. We appreciate you guys tuning in and um, sitting back and relaxing with us, watching us craft. Um, if you want to participate, participate in the um, giveaway, make sure to read the description box. So we have all the details on how to enter. Uh, you need to make sure that you follow all the rules in order to be considered a contestant, okay? And um, so, yeah, anything else you want to um, say? No, nah, we would just say once again, thanks for watching. And like we've said, it's a D, uh, D, U, I, D, 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 I, Y, D, I, Y, do it yourself. I, I keep saying D, D, I, Y, is something that you and your, your husband or your boyfriend can sit down and do and sip wine and just. Do it anyone. It doesn't get, matter who. That's why I say a boyfriend or husband. Uh -huh. or but it could be a homegirl home or Yeah, homegirl home home or whatever. Like. It's just something where y'all can sit down and just have conversation and just. Yeah, pretty much. All right, until next time, you guys, you know what it is. Peace, love, and grace. See you later.